Building an Economy for Yasharala. Okay, um, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom also um, to the door, uh, to the wandered Israelites, which include you, Judah's children, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Indians, who are still oppressed together according to the book of uh, Jeremiah 50 and 33. But whom Soleil pretended the adoption, the giving of the law, the promises, the glory, and the covenants, according to the book of um, Romans, chapter 9. Um, Salachia about, especially when I do videos, I'm surrounded by uh, heavy noise and whatsoever. Okay, like I said, okay, oppressed uh, according to Jeremiah 15 33. But whom Soleil pretended the adoption, the giving of the law, the promises, the glory, and the covenants, according to the book of um, Romans, chapter 9, just in case you don't know. Okay, which I actually didn't mention all the benefits. Okay, it's the glory, it's the covenants, it's the promises, it's the service of God. You know, it's basically everything. You know, but uh, like I said, it, I didn't mention everything. Okay, but you should already know at least if you watch my videos because I usually say it in the beginning of my uh, videos. <laughs> Uh, the better version would be that you actually know these things, okay? Anyway, um, we will listen uh, to that. So, this all starts with me, Sav Solomon, rapper, producer, cryptocurrency developer, content creator, social media guy, I don't know, what, whatever you want to call me, all right? But it, this all starts with me. I made 27 million kingdom coin, all right, with the intention that these be the national currency of my bloodline, my people, who've recently discovered that they're originally of Israel. But we'll get into that in other videos. Okay, first of all... I don't know what he means about recently, okay, you have Hebrews to Negroes and the series, you have Hebrews to Negroes, the books, um, I don't know where he got his information from, but this, he is basically way too late, okay, <laughs> you have people finding, uh, finding that out basically 30 years ago already, okay, which are the elders and apostles anyway. Okay, um, you have people figuring that out um, way earlier, okay? So I don't know if he is just some random guru, random dude, okay, um, receiving some kind of truth to the spirit and uh, power of the Abba Shem Shai. Okay, this dude never went in the internet this dude never went into books or some knowledge that is available on this earth okay he figured actually out that he's an Hebrew Israelite which is a good thing but most or basically for example I myself I figured it out while I was walking okay from one place to another I was just walking taking a little little trip if you will okay and I found out oh that's why I thought that's why I um, went where I went with my wisdom and understanding, okay, because I'm a Hebrew Israelite. So that, you know, basically there are different things that I found out about the Bantu in Africa and things like that and anyway and things like that. But it's more a spiritual uh, awakening that happens all of a sudden. It's not like you go on the internet and you find out, oh, um, <laughs> we descend from Jacob. Okay, that's, I don't know where he got it from and I don't know why he's that late. But yeah, it is true what you say. But depending on what you do these next times, you are a part of it or not. Okay, for what it looks right now, you are not a part of these Israelites, Israelites that you pro proclaiming. And it might be, it might be even the case that you, that you will uh, never come to the tooth, which the tooth only comes down from GMS, the Great Millstone, okay, uh, B 
being spread around the world okay so basically some dude up uh, up there on youtube talking about he knows that he he believes to know that he's a descendant doesn't mean anything you have people all over the world thinking that they're the uh, descendants of um, somebody okay it specifically gets hard if you want to proclaim to be a descendant of israel because nobody nobody can give you that one thing which is necessary to be a part of the hopeful elect or the elect which is exactly the spirit and bold um, spirit okay and the power to receive this truth preaching this truth and to um, remain with this truth which <laughs> okay which which this is only given to a few people okay <laughs> which are 144,000 to be more exact and if I talk about a few people if you don't know anything about numbers you would think oh a few people is a 10 or a hundred or a thousand or a million or a billion or a trillion people <laughs> okay but really if you have so much people on earth type that in how much people are on earth today okay and then type in 144,000 so the first thing which you was googling okay take that minus 144,000 guess what happens basically nothing okay so if I talk about a few people I mean exact those people who are way or basically that are uh, you know some kind of level ahead okay but you just have two levels that's the that's you know as hard as it is but you know this is for me personally watching until uh, 0 32 and I never watched other videos of him okay it's at the moment it's just a random dude on the internet okay at the moment but we will see and maybe I will do some more videos of him depends if it's necessary or not okay I don't do you really believe that I do videos about people proclaiming to know something about the truth of the Bible or about the people of the Bible you really believe that but that means that you would also have to believe okay that I am um, got the almighty power that I have unmeasurable time and I can I can uh, comment and do videos on everything that is out there which is not the case so this is not the first guy and this will not be the last guy and this is definitely one out of these mass numbers of people uploading a video about some bullshit okay being destroyed which the masses of people are determined to be destroyed like these suckers or these surfmen okay so these this video is just another random bullshit of uh of people being born to be to be dead basically you know nuclear weapons and um, you know plagues and and natural disasters and um, you know not keeping the law of the most high being basically punished for that man uh, since they were born because you better believe there is no free will man okay so let's continue until this is over okay that's what we want to do okay uh, let's see if we can get some scriptures okay it will not be more than two at least but we will see anyways these coins then go out to the businesses of Yasharala. you know the ones who have all the clothes with the fringes on them you know the shirts the dresses etc okay and let me make one thing clear it also sucks that you have people coming up with different kinds of things that doesn't have anything to do with um, the doctrine okay of GMS the Great Millstone okay you have all different camps coming up with we are the Hebrew Israelites and things like that and maybe uh, many of the IUIC members are Hebrew Israelites okay but you have the two dirts out of, the, out of Israel being not chosen okay that shows you that these people are even you know 
I even further away from the truth, man. Uh, you know, it's it's not even worth making a video about these uh, scoffers, you know. Basically. The people of the nation then show up and they are our consumers. So they're actually going to buy the coin directly off of the businesses. Now, the businesses then can turn around and charge in kingdom coin for their products. Now, the now, these dollars going into the business also will end up helping to fund their uh, projects themselves, whether it's buying more inventory, building things, whatever that business is particularly, you know, the goal is. The funds coming in in exchange for the Kingdom Coin end up helping to fund those things, also helping to keep the business going. Um, the Kingdom Coin then is out in circulation with the Israelites. So now the Israelites have their own coin in circulation. Buying goods and holding the coin keep the coin in use, driving the value of it upward. Now, keeping in mind... Okay, don't say I wasn't trying it okay but this dude is actually talking about some coins or whatever okay it's a good way to think about different perspectives and different ways to um you know to deal with this systematic oppression okay which systematic um racism for dummies uh you know is available <laughs> for those who lack knowledge okay <laughs> <laughs> okay information about it is every uh, available but um you know there is no way without Yao Baoshem Shai to get out of this situation because if you don't know the fatness of the earth is given to uh, e and um e okay doesn't uh, wasn't uh, receiving the blessing for nothing okay so there are actually people out there that really believe that it's coincidence that certain people are um, in an advantage compared to other people, okay? There are really people out there believing that, okay? As hard as it sounds, okay, these people um, have no knowledge um, until the moment they receive it. And guess who is the one who can change that? Exactly, it's Yahweh Barshem Shai, Barshem Kakodash, and not me. Okay, I can do videos talking, uh, wanna be clever all day. If Yahweh Barshem Shai doesn't see you in that 144, hopefully, uh, elect number, I, can, I can't change anything about it. Whatever I say, maybe even 100% accurate and uh non-deniable okay but the proof is right there the masses of the people denying basically everything what they see okay so you have people even ignoring the fact that they should at least um think different but they don't do it because of ignorance so what i want to say with that is that this dude coming up here with uh, stuff like that okay just wants to basically be or he wants to receive glory just like this scoffer um who is it um polite okay they want to receive their own glory okay when yahweh the son of god was here on earth showing us the way man okay it's not about your own glory it's not about um you know trying to make something better okay than the gospel itself no the gospel means preach or uh, the good message is preaching the gospel which is the doctrine of the uh, yeah of course of the bible but which is the doctrine okay okay some brothers may have a channel that goes into art uh, second channel you know some brothers may have a second channel that go into sports you know because they like sports and they want to inform people and things like that okay but this dude coming with that hebrew hebrew solomon yashawala you know which yashawala is a ancient hebrew word okay he comes with that stuff so you really have to think about what he is trying to do okay like the scripture says he um you know to whom much is given, much is required, okay? So it it is some kind of advantage if you know that Yashawala is the original name for Israel. It is some kind of advantage if you know about Solomon, 
okay or the hebrews and you are so called so called black and you know that you are hebrew okay maybe it is because you have uh, a grandfather that is that that was in slavery or he he has some some books about his fathers that that were in slavery and you know it might be all the case you know but today we are basically mixed so called okay which mixed doesn't really exist because everybody is mixed those people who say that uh, you are mixed are basically more mixed than you okay but that's just another topic <laughs> okay they just know they just don't know what uh, nature really really is okay that they, they never figured out what science and nature uh, really is uh, obviously showing you okay that your blood and your descendant is your appearance and your um you know appearance in your body which dna and all these things are more important than your out of skin okay the skin is not even one percentage of your 100 percentage body but whatever whatever you know <laughs> You know these people sucking man, and they have to be, have to be killed man, like some, like 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 what they are man. Okay. Children of fools man. Okay, starting with you of course. Anyway, let's finish this creepy stuff here. Uh, creepy in a, in a very uh, yeah. You know. Creepy creepy um, is not good don't get me wrong but you know this is just you know you have a system of uh, children of fools you know and this is just some things that would uh, follow after it you know in circulation with the israelites so now the israelites have their own coin in circulation buying goods and holding the coin keep the coin in use driving the value of it upward now, keeping in mind there's only 27 million coins, and we also have a planet full of Israelites. Now, a full ecosystem using the coin will make it then scarce on the world stage. Now, in comparison, Kingdom Coin and Storage. Now, storage is actually cloud-based storage, actually stored on a blockchain. Um, so that's their whole concept there. They have a coin that was created just for the usage on their one website. And they have, a, you know, a, a whole, you know, fan base, consumer base that all uh, wraps around that one website, uses this one coin, and that drives the value of it upward. Now, the Kingdom Coin, on the other hand, has Israelites all around the world. And in all of those various businesses, organizations, um, you know, tribes, just settlements, people that are getting together around the okay the scripture says that all israel is not israel so i don't know what this dude is talking about okay because only one dirt of two dirts uh, of three dirts i mean is actually israel okay so he may be talking to the two dirts of israel who according to the book of zechariah will be destroyed okay he might be even talking to the other humans which are not even israel okay um, he might even try to uh, uh, talk to the one dirt, okay. But I I don't see a possibly I don't see a possible chance that this has uh, anything to do with with us preaching the gospel because we have been scattered abroad, this creates a larger use case than virtually any other cryptocurrency in the world. Now, in comparison to, let's say, Bitcoin, the original... Okay, it would be more benefiting if you just preach the gospel, okay, stopping with that bullshit over here, okay? You can put all the Hebrew words here out and all that stuff that has to do with the Bible. You can do a second channel doing that like... like like it like you do it you know like i said without all the um stuff that you know at least has to do something with the truth and then it would be even okay man okay but the first power priority is preaching the gospel and if i write here on the comment board okay let me do that do you have a second channel preaching the gospel I bet with you the 
it's not the case. Okay, that's what I what I bet. Cryptocurrency, you know, out on without of course betting something. Okay, or you know the world stage. We have 27 million kingdom coin. There is a max supply on Bitcoin of 21 million coins. So when you look at the actual comparison in the numbers, this is a coin that can definitely inflate in value upward to the 20,000, 30,000 levels if we've seen Bitcoin do that previously and the numbers are somewhat comparable. Now, with a full ecosystem of Israelites already using the coin, this means when we collectively make the decision to actually release the Kingdom coin out to the world exchange exchanges such as Coinbase, such as Crypto.com, this means now all of those Israelites who already hold the coin, all of those businesses who already have the coin in circulation, they become rich overnight. Actually, I wouldn't wonder if this dude comes up um, in whatsoever time in the future, okay? We don't know the date or the, the time or whatever, you know, just like Yahushai doesn't know really when when Yahweh really wants to pull that shit down. Okay. Um, so lucky for my French. Which actually, um, you know, I wouldn't wonder really if this dude comes up with Oh, um, you can also put your, if I get it right, you know, your Israelite coins, if you will, <laughs> you know, which is a good thing, but you really believe there was nobody figuring these things out before you. Of course, of course, uh, um, somebody did it, okay? And it was um, actually even in the, in the Asia, um, in the Asia and Asian uh, zones, you know, in Asian um, culture, you had people figuring out. There was one um, specific conqueror from Asia who found out, you know, who who found out that um, if you have your own, if you have your own currency, you will basically have your own culture. You will basically have your own uh, stability. Okay, so this dude really believes that he's the only one who found out that uh, you know, basically your own coins make some difference okay but that makes it not actually really it makes it not really bad but what it makes what does um, yeah you know what really makes it bad is that he try that he is trying to tr translate that into uh, the language of the hopeful elect you know out of Israel which makes it a completely different thing because now you're talking about life and death now you're talking about prophecy now you're talking about the future now you're talking about the past the present and the future now you're talking about things that really matter now you're talking about things that really have to do with your inner being now you're talking about things that really have the power of changing something in your life now you're talking about things that really have the power to change anything in your life. Okay. So let me get, you know, I, I, I don't even watch the last fifth uh, or 10, whatever. Yeah, what, what, you know, let, let's just do it. It's just I a vision today. 4% left. Okay, that's the spirit. So I bet um that we get in, at least into one or two scriptures because as a body this will require works shalom israel follow me at i am sav solo okay. on instagram and he used actually the hebrew word for shalom which is shalom okay this dude really believes that it makes something better out of his video which satan did that already when he came out of prison uh, after the dark ages Okay, he mixed truth with lies, which is nothing else but what you see today, okay? Um, being in this position as somebody out of that nation, which I really, I am really not sure if you are out of that nation, okay? And um, let me get, let me get at least one or two scriptures, okay? Because this is really, um, this is really sucking, man. Yeah. Okay. To see people uh, having a lack of knowledge like that, okay, it's really, um, yeah, it's 
not disturbing but you know kind of like sad you know it's it's not disturbing because the, the scripture clearly tells you man that there are heathens and there are two dirts who are actually israelites but they are ignorant so they will be treated as heathens when it comes to judgments and other things and there you have one dirt of israel which is actually israel okay like the scripture says on uh, uh, even if israel and this is also a cut <laughs> this is also a cut to these people who say like oh, oh everybody can be um, saved and things like that it's lucky for the noise um yeah but why would the bible say um yet the number of the children of israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered and it shall come to pass that okay this is the one verse i didn't i didn't i um i wasn't um thinking about that verse but actually uh interesting isaiah 20 uh 10 and 22 for dark thy people is will be as the sand of the sea yet a remnant of them shall return the consumption the creature of flow of righteousness um actually you have to be careful what you type in you see because only a remnant shall be saved is what i'm looking for actually you know i was thinking like oh okay because last times i was getting that worse it was not that complex okay so yeah romans yeah actually it is romans 9 27 which should be more um manipulating for these only so-called christians or israelites romans 9 and 27 isaiah is also quite concerning israel dog the number of the children of israel be as the sand of the sea Oh, a woman shall be saved. Oops. So how can it be that everybody can be saved if this actually is talking about Israel and then it talks about not even all Israel is saved. Okay, you people are sucking and you have to be deleted, man. You, you, you people out there, man, sucking like, sucking like, like... Um, you know like like the, like uh, the way you behave man okay this should this the same way like like what you deserve man okay so lucky about it. it's just uh, it's just the truth to it the way you behave the way you will get charged man you will get charged man okay it's not about so much what you um what you say or what you acting okay it's more about what you really are and, and what you really do okay of course it's also what you say look all, uh, of, uh, look look uh, what all the prophets experience uh, most of the prophets uh, experience you know you have one prophet talking about i have an unclean tongue you know please you know uh, consider that i have an unclean tongue and you know and, and things like that you know or look at job what what how he was basically humbling himself himself you know so basically um i will get another one okay because these people are the best example of vain babbling and um trying to keep the lord's chosen people from the truth man this is their real intention even if it looks like um, they try to benefit uh, our people which is not the case because you know the best agents from the yeah you can't be an agent of uh, an agent you know <laughs> when it comes to yahweh Hashem or shai and i really hope that you don't believe that okay and i know that there is nobody who really believes that okay 
we talk about spiritual power or spiritual power on the left hand side that is not really there until you really you know have it let me say it like that which the right hand side of course has the power over, over basically the left hand side and not most of the people are you know basically into that let me say it like that anyway um without knowing the scriptures matthew 22 29 to 32 which, um which i don't like to say um jebus okay so i say yawashai which is the real name okay and you know i don't like to to say these names okay they're they're just not existent and stupid and philosophy answered and said unto them ye do error not knowing the scriptures nor the power of god you see really that is the case because this dude really believes that some stupid coin out there bitcoin salachia okay will change anything about our situation okay you don't believe that uh, e and the other hens got their oppression hand over us okay <laughs> that's maybe why you have to do videos like that okay so things are really crazy right now man okay i hope that some at least some one dirt hopeful elect hebrew israelite real hebrew israelite because everything is fake today even the israelites uh, themselves are fake today okay 9048ers different videos which are actually um actually um, overly on youtube more than our videos and especially your videos okay anyway <clears throat> not knowing the scriptures nor the power of god for in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given into marriage but are as the angels um, but are as the angels of god in heaven <clears throat> so it's all about power man it's all about power and uh, you know if you don't believe in the Bible and the, and the, and the power and spirit of um, Yahweh Bashem Shai, you don't believe that he has the power to get you out of basically everything, okay? And, you know, sometimes you really have to explain to people that coins or Bitcoin, um, you know, and whatever the F you have out there is not compared to witches that are really witches, okay? And I even talk with some people that are from Africa them, them, themselves that live there and they say even the, they even say that you know who are not in the truth for what, for what I know that um, you know gold is real worth man okay and you're talking about some coins and stuff you know and things like that and even even if gold is real gold in Africa and things like that you know if you don't have the truth this all this gold is not even from you you know Yahweh put it there you know so just being an african just being a bitcoin uh, level 100 truth seer okay you dudes you know you are really level exactly okay and with that all praises to Yahweh okay and you know, it doesn't matter if you are the truth or not, you know, at least if you are an Israelite, you will maybe even see how Yahweh Bar Shem Shai puts all the gold that doesn't even exist on this earth, all the different materials, which are gemstones in a masses of, of, of sizes, you know, uh, to this earth, uh, all given to the elect, to the hopeful elect, you know, for the bedrooms, for their for the beautiful rooms, you know, for the living rooms where they invite people and things like that, you know. And you will maybe even be a witness of that, man, shalom. <laughs>